Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a picture frame out of any vector shape in Affinity Publisher. Now I'm on the iPad version, but the same process applies to the desktop version as well. Let's get started. Publisher has two built-in picture frames, a square and a circle, and they create drop zones for your images. You can automatically clip an image into them, either coming from the stock studio or by using place image. And you can easily size them up and down using this slider or the handles here at the bottom right. Best of all, you can easily swap an image out simply by bringing one in and dropping it over the picture frame and it's automatically going to place it inside. From here, I can use the slider, I can double tap to access the image and I can adjust it however I want. But you're not limited to just those two shapes. You can create a picture frame out of any vector shape in Publisher, whether it's the built-in shapes or one you've created or imported. You can even use Studio Link to jump over to Designer and use all of its tools to create a unique vector shape that you turn into a frame. I'm going to start by grabbing one of the built-in shapes. The color doesn't matter because I'm going to be replacing it with an image. Now I can use the contextual menu at the top here to make changes to the shape. I can change the inner radius. I can also use this handle. But what I can't do is automatically clip an image inside. If I wanted an image inside right now, because this is an actual shape layer, which you can see here from my layers panel, I would have to manually resize it and then manually drag it over this layer to clip it in. So let's turn it into a frame. With it selected, I can either engage the quick menu by holding my finger on the canvas and choosing convert to picture frame at the bottom, or I can go to the edit menu at the top and selecting it there. If you look at my layers panel, now it says picture frame and the icon to the left is the icon for picture frames, which means I can go to my stock studio or again, use place image and I can drag an image in and it's automatically going to resize and clip inside. From here, I can use the slider. I can also use the handles that are built in the frame. I can double tap to access the image itself and move it around. And if you look at my layers, the way a picture frame works is that the parent layer is the picture frame and it clips the image inside. So you can either select either one from the canvas or you can select it here in the layers panel. You can also convert shapes you've created with the pen tool as well. So I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm just gonna tap out just a random shape. Again, the color doesn't matter, but what I do want to make sure is that the shape is completed. So I've tapped the very first node that I created. I'm just going to add a color so you can see it. Now, once again, if I go to my layers panel, you can see this is an actual curve layer. So if I wanted to clip something inside right now, I'd have to manually clip it. I wanna convert it to a frame, so I'll hold my finger down and choose convert to picture frame. And you can see the icon to the left side here has changed to that for the picture frame, which means now if I go to my stock studio, I can grab an image, drag it in, and it's automatically going to clip inside. I can use the slider to scale it up and down. And I also have these handles available to me as well. Now there is a difference between these two shapes. In this case, I started with a curve, so you can see that it didn't change the name to picture frame, it just kept it as curve. If I were to go to my node tool right now, I have all of my nodes available to me, which means I can make changes to this shape, either by dragging nodes, I can change nodes from smooth to sharp, I can drag the handles, I can add nodes or delete them, anything that I would normally do with a node tool I can do here. Now in the case of this one, because I started with a shape that I didn't convert, I can still use the control handles that are built into the shape or the contextual menu at the top, but I don't have nodes. I can, however, tap this icon at the top or use the quick menu convert it to a curve, and now I can use nodes. So I still have the ability to use the picture frame and all of its benefits, but I also have nodes for additional flexibility. One last thing I wanted to show you, I'm going to go to my assets panel and pull in this vector paint swoosh that I created. And you can see that it's a curve and it has lots of texture. So I'm gonna convert this to a frame. Whenever you use a shape that has a lot of texture, that texture is going to become a part of the frame. The cool thing is when you place an image inside, the image is going to work its way not just into the main shape, but wherever you have texture 
or wherever there's texture missing. So you can create some really cool effects using a really textured shape. So that's it. That's how easy it is to turn any vector shape into a picture frame in Affinity Publisher. And remember, this works the same on both the iPad and the desktop. If you have any questions, let me know in the discussion below. If you'd like to learn more about the Affinity Suite, check out one of these two next. Thanks for watching.